this off. Hey guys, this is going to be my latest Christmas movie review. On this video, I will be talking about a new release and it is called Happiest Season. It's come out the last week or so and it's directed by Claire Duvall, her, her first film as director. She also co-wrote it and it's a family Christmas comedy. I would describe it as quite a familiar premise. But you have the characters of Harper and Abby, who are um, played by Christian Stewart and and sorry Mackenzie Davis. I had to try and remember her name then. Um, and they've been going out for a while, but the twist in the tale is that Mackenzie Davis, the Harper character, still hasn't t hasn't told her very like traditionally conservative family. Well, A, then they're going out, and that B, B, that she's a lesbian, because previously she had been with men, so they, they still think that, that she's, you know, str straight for all intents and purposes. And there's also this kind of background with Abby's character where she kind of hates Christmas, and it's because she lost her parents at Christmas, like, years ago. So she's not really in the festive mood, but... Anyway, Harper suggests, why don't you come and meet my family this Christmas? And obviously, Abby reluctantly agrees. And we, we get the whole kind of awkward, you know, very relatable sort of like family get together type humour with obviously Abby feeling very much on the outside of things. You've got this big like family and all their weird like um, sort of eccentric sort of behaviors and kind of weird stories and, and little quirks and it's a very relatable sort of setup and and over the course of the movie because harper is kind of reluctant to, to tell her family about them she claims that abby's just a friend and just various things that happen it's it creates tension in the relationship there's also um abby has uh like a best friend who's also gay he's kind of very supportive and sort of comic relief as well but there's quite a nice gag with him where he, where he like he's looking after her fish and he kills the fish by mistake i guess because he doesn't feed them and, and at one point she calls him and he's like getting a new fish to replace him so that's pretty funny um overall it's it's a solid movie but i think the comedy is much better than the drama in it i think the drama felt a bit too forced and contrived and it felt very been here done that you can kind of guess the way it's going to go at various points it's it's very predictable and kind of on the nose so i wasn't really won over by the drama i think it works best when it is like a farcical sort of like family type christmas comedy there's a lot of like really good like slapstick type moments where they just really go for it and it's like the absurdity coming out there's a really entertaining scene where they're having like a skate off like um harper and her sister played by alison brie the brilliant alison brie um really good casting for that role because it's it's kind of like her playing an almost more snooty version of like Annie out of community. But they, they have a really fun rivalry actually, Harper and um, her sister Sloan. And there's a fun little sort of brawl between them quite late in the movie as well. So there's some really good slapsticks moments. There's there's sort of one quite early on actually when when um, Abby falls off a roof where they're on like this weird sort of like Christmas tour in like the neighbourhood, and I think it sort of shows you actually how well the movie is cast because you have like this tour guy who guide who's only in one one scene but she actually kind of steals that scene with some really funny and dark lines like she's taking like these these kids around and and coming out with all these 
dark sort of fact about the neighbourhood and like how someone was arrested for like child molesting or something like that pretty dark stuff but but pretty pretty funny um but yeah she's really funny and there's a scene where they're where they're obviously like they pull away from the tour and they're up on the roof and they're having like an instant moment and they fall off the roof basically but I think, yeah, the supporting cast, it's really well cast. They do sort of steal the movie. I think this actress, Mary Holland, who plays, like, Harper's other sister, um, I forget her name now. What was the character's name? Oh, Jane, yeah. she She's just brilliant. She's she's this really, like, charming but off-ball type character. I love her her whole crush on Josh Hartnett, that's like a whole niche thing, and she has a poster of him, <laughs> that's just so niche, she's like, is it hot in me, or hot in here, or is it just me, and there's a gag about her being like, the only one who, who, who understands how to work the internet in the house, and she's very adorable, she, she steals so many scenes, but I think that's one of the things is I think the leads are kind of overshadowed by by the rest of the cast. You've got Mary um, Stumberg in there as the mother, very well cast again. I think she's very good at playing the, um, the very sort of sneaky, sort of malicious type, conservative type where... Yeah, she kind of sneaks little comments in here and there to be sort of snooty. Um, and there's some nice little moments. Also, Audrey Plaza's in there. So, so this is a really strong cast. She's she's very likable as well, almost as the more same character of the supporting cast where she, she's basically Harper's ex. And she has a lot of wisdom actually for Abby and, and supports her and gives her advice and stuff. So Audrey Plaza is really great in this. Um, I think she does bring certain like depth, certain things to the, to the scenes with her and Abby. And I know a lot of people online have said, well, hey, why, do, why, why don't Abby and um, her character, the Audrey Plaza character, get together? And I can kind of see it because they do like work off each other quite nicely. And personally, I, I just wasn't that interested in Harper and Abby, their relationship. Early on in the film, it was quite good and I could see them having natural sort of chemistry. But as the film went on and you got into the meat of their problems... I actually maybe wanted them to do the more bold thing, which was maybe have Abby, you know, have this other relationship. But obviously it did go the predictable route. There's some nice heartwarming moments. I actually did like, there's a scene with the Plaza character and Abby in like this this drag club where um, they're, they're singing like a Christmas song and, and they sort of like include them in it and it's a fun little moment it, it's very very sort of you know likeable and stuff um, and Christian Stewart kind of plays Christian Stewart um, I think in the first half of the film it makes a bit more sense I think as you go into it and she has to show a bit more emotion which isn't her strong suit it, it doesn't work as well but you know, I I would say it's a very funny film with some nice moments. And overall, it's solid, but not amazing. As I said, the drama didn't really grab me as much. But it's kind of carried by carried by the supporting cast. It, it is very well cast. Um, so definitely worth a, lot, worth a look. I think the comedy alone kind of carries it to a, a decent watch so check it out yeah happiest season it's it's out now it's um certainly for a debut film not too bad and you can rent it now on vod platforms so thanks for listening i'll see you guys again soon goodbye oh 6.5 out of 10 i didn't give my rating rating yet 6.5 out of 10 i'll give happiest season thanks again see you later